2021 was a remarkable year for AstraZeneca as we accelerated growth with exceptional R&D and commercial productivity across all therapy areas. We completed the acquisition of Alexion and we played a significant role in changing the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our total revenue increased 38%, with Alexion contributing 8% of total revenue. And in Q4 2021 alone, total revenue increased 63%. This strong growth trajectory was driven by 17% growth in oncology, 9% growth in both cardiovascular, renal, and metabolism, as well as respiratory and immunology, and 9% growth for rare disease on a pro forma, pro rata basis. From a regional perspective, we achieved double-digit growth in all major regions, including emerging markets, despite some headwinds in China. Total revenue increased in the US by 38%. Europe grew by 40%. And in the emerging markets, we grew by 36%. Our performance in oncology was driven by further gains in tackling lung cancer, with Tagriso revenue up 13% and Imfinzi up 16%, as well as continued progress in breast and ovarian cancer, with Limparza up 21%. Our biopharmaceuticals portfolio also continued to deliver. Farsiga grew by almost 50%, with new indications in heart failure and chronic kidney disease. Safnelo was approved in the US and Japan and received a positive CHMP opinion in the EU for SLE. And the US approval of Tespire for severe asthma brought further good news. Beyond this, we delivered on our promise of broad and equitable access to our vaccine, Vaxevria, with more than 2.5 billion doses released for supply in over 170 countries, and with approximately two-thirds going to low- and middle-income countries. And in recent months, we have begun to receive approvals for Evusheld, the first long-acting antibody combination against COVID-19, to demonstrate benefit in both prevention and treatment. Turning to rare disease, Ultomiris total revenue grew 29%, and in Q4, we completed key regulatory submissions in the EU, US, and Japan for the treatment of myasthenia gravis. We also strengthened our commitment in amyloidosis, expanding the rare disease pipeline and our presence in heart failure. Overall, we now have 13 blockbusters with Tagriso, Farsiga, Limparza, Calquens, and Facenra crossing new thresholds in the year. And as we continue to push the boundaries of science, we delivered 14 positive phase three readouts and regulatory approvals in major markets, including five new molecular entities. Importantly, we also made good progress on our sustainability goals with our targets now independently verified by the Science-Based Targets Initiative. All employees across AstraZeneca showed an amazing dedication during the past year. I am confident that together we will reach even greater heights in 2022 and make an even bigger difference to the lives of patients around the world. Thank you to all who contributed to this outstanding result.